And the fish and the pigs are my favorite because I like them a lot. <laughs> and what is the book about? About animals. And what about animals? Why we don't eat them. Yeah, why don't we eat them? Because we love animals. Because they, because they don't like to get eaten. Where adults are more firmly entrenched in their ways, children need only the slightest insights and guidance, and off they soar into the direction of a more conscious and kind way of living. This book will help to create the much-needed healers and leaders of tomorrow. Kathy Freston Hello, Shining viewers, and welcome to Vegetarian Elite. Today, we are delighted to introduce children's book author and illustrator, Miss Ruby Roth. The 27-year-old American former elementary school art teacher, who dares to rattle the unwritten convention of systematically giving children sugar-coated stories, has brought to the public the truth-telling and heart-changing book simply entitled, That's Why We Don't Eat Animals. Since its launch recently, Ruby's book has been a popular topic of discussion, winning favorable reviews by notable people like best-selling author Kathy Freston, Nobel Peace Prize laureate Dr. Jane Goodall, and Ingrid Newkirk, the president and founder of People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, PETA. When I started teaching at an elementary school, I saw how much the kids were open to veganism and vegetarianism because they would ask me you know, about why I wasn't eating their cheese sticks and their meatballs and their cartons of milk. And um, it all related my passion for social justice. And then the more information I learned about the animals and the health and working with kids and how receptive all led up to the creation of this book. Ruby's experience in working with children, her genuine heart, inspiration, and her vegan orientation blended together wonderfully to create a unique piece of literature that unveils the biggest secret kept from kids. The foods on their plates are actually that chicken, pig, fish, duck they see in cartoons, the same ones they play with as companion toys, or hear about in beloved fairy tales. In a remarkable way, Ruby introduces the crude reality of factory farming, endangered species, and environmental problems without terrifying or shaming the children. Using age-appropriate imagery of her own magnificent illustrations, Ruby brings awareness to children and raises compassion in their hearts by also presenting the difference between the lives of the free animals versus the lives of the enslaved animals raised as livestock. Your book title is it's very clear-cut, straight to the point. It's not candy-coated. Yeah, there's no hiding it. <laughs> you know, I was joking around at, at the beginning of this brainstorm about, you know, what this book would be, and, and I just was joking with my boyfriend. I said, I think it's just going to be called That's Why We Don't Eat Animals. And, you know, we kind of laughed, but as the book came along, it just stuck. And at one point, there were some people that wanted me to change it, you know, but it's just the name of the book, and it's so perfectly what the book is about. And kids get it, so that's all I was really concerned about. What surprises you most about the children's reaction to your book? They make the most beautiful connections. I had a fourth grader. Um, I read her the book, and I apparently in her classroom she was studying slavery, and she talked to me about how factory farming reminded her of slavery. And I know that's a key word that makes people have a really knee-jerk reaction. Like, you cannot compare slavery to what's going on in the factory farms, but if you look deeply into what's going on, these are slave animals, and um, the way they're treated is they're, you know, they're dead before they're alive. So just to see a kid make that connection is really moving. Someone who, who, this girl wasn't vegan or vegetarian, no one in her family was, but she just saw that for herself. 
And that's not anything I had to push. I didn't need to say that. They just, you know, see the cages and the treatment of something that's alive as if it's not alive and has no value. And she made that connection. Up until now, there has not been any unmasked information that talks to children on this subject. Children have intuitive compassion and such a genuine intelligence and can often make quick connections with the injustice of factory farming. Many parents would rather shield their children from the knowledge of how meat is obtained, claiming they are too young to know the unpleasant truth, fearing if the children found out how the animals suffered just to be a morsel on their plates, most likely they will not eat it anymore. Ruby's partner, the talented urban artist Justin Bois, explains how That's Why We Don't Eat Animals fills the void in candid and meaningful children's literature. The project was her own making, her own doing, and it was such a beautiful, extraordinary project that uh, I was telling a friend of mine about it, David Wolf, who is a huge force in the raw food industry. So he hooked us up with North Atlantic, who's her printer. And at that time, they were just getting distribution by Random House. So I made that uh, connection for her and basically been, you know, spreading the word ever since. It's an important book with an important message. And there's a void that it's filling. When did you realize there was a void in the children's literature, in any literature? Well, I... I realized there was a void in the literature, in children's book literature in particular, because, uh, you know, our daughter, who is now four and a half, is born and raised vegan, and there was nothing that I could really read to her uh, coming up at night. And you really wanted something there that would fill, fill the void, and I never really had anything that I could read to her that had uh, a message that was really uh, important. We deal with food every day, all day long and no one's talking about it. No one's giving us information about fruits and vegetables and how great it is for our life and ultimately for the sustainability of our planet. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television while we go feed the birds. When we come back, we'll continue the interview with Miss Ruby Roth along with some little friends at Storyopolis Bookstore. Hi, this is Ruby Roth, author and illustrator of That's Why We Don't Eat Animals, the first children's book about the emotional lives of animals and factory farming. Wishing Supreme Master Television a happy third anniversary. Thank you. Welcome back to Vegetarian Elite on Supreme Master Television. Author and illustrator Ruby Roth of That's Why We Don't Eat Animals shares with us how she embarked on her inspiring journey of veganism. I became vegan in 2003. It was just kind of a health experiment. I used to get sick all the time and just decided to try it and see if there was a big difference and there really was and I was so excited about feeling good and feeling healthy and I started sleeping less and having more energy and I lost weight and I just felt like it was like taking off a heavy jacket and starting to run it just felt so good and I felt like I had been searching for it my whole life um, once I tried it and I felt it from the inside it sparked you know, a lot of research into the other reasons why people don't eat animals and the farm animals and just the state of factory farming and the agricultural industry is plenty reason alone not to eat animals. And it's connected to every single political issue that we deal with, from water waste and soil pollution and air pollution to even immigration and uh, endangered species and it just anything you could think of, it touches. And I think it's going vegan or vegetarian is the best 
way to pluck yourself out of this long chain of deplorable issues. I'm a vegan and it was just nice to find a book like this where I could help educate my baby because I'd like Charlotte to be raised as a vegan as well. Um, so it was just refreshing to see something like this that as she grows, um, we'll be able to give her a little education, something sweet and nice and not too harsh. Yeah, it's a great message. Um, good portal for you know parents to be able to teach their kids you know, the importance of you know, not you know, destroying animals for our own, you know, use. So it's, it's a good message. So thank you, Ruby. There's a lot of people who are vegans, vegetarians, and carnivores alike who really don't know how to communicate how important a vegetarian, vegan diet is for their children. So instead of coming off didactic uh, and irreverent, you know, you come off just reading the book so it feels very organic so you're just reading the book and then you don't have to be preachy so it's it's quite a wonderful uh, experience and as an artist myself there's not another children's book illustrator in my opinion who is as talented so not only are you getting an important message and it's just filled with useful information, but it's beautifully illustrated. So, I mean, she could be doing award-winning books for giant publishing houses, but she's, you know, doing this to basically get the message out to the people. What is your hope for this book? Well, the response has been amazing. I've heard from people all over the world, from Haiti to South Africa to the Czech Republic, and I heard from a senator in the Netherlands. Um, he's a senator for the Party for the Animals, which is an entire political party dedicated to animal rights and the environment, all the issues that are related to it. And I just hope that it can reach the people it needs to reach and, and become one of those tools that that every vegan vegetarian family has. Well, our family is vegetarian, and we were really excited to hear that Ruby had written this book. And so uh, we're here supporting Ruby and supporting the ideas behind the book and buying it for friends as well. An insightful book review from Rabbi Gabriel Cousins, M.D., describes perfectly the importance of That's Why We Don't Eat Animals. This book captures the imagination with its illustrations that subtly helps children understand the ancient teachings that animals have souls. Animals are our friends, and we do not eat our friends. In this understanding, it helps us create a more compassionate world. Rabbi Gabriel Cousins, M.D., Please come back to join us again next week on Vegetarian Elite as we explore the pages of That's Why We Don't Eat Animals with its lovely author and illustrator, Miss Ruby Roth. Coming up now is Between Master and Disciples here on Supreme Master Television. As more and more children are informed about the truths of farm animals, most certainly their innate wisdom and natural compassion will lead them to choose a kinder, more sustainable, and healthy diet. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash VE.